I'm gonna put my yes man over here because you really are like the yes man. He looks like him, doesn't he? Welcome to the <laughs> limited series for the Wine of the Month Club for April of 2014. I, I do want, I do really want to bring you in here, just you and I, and I want to talk about, you know, the, the Lesme de Vaughn days and the wine shop days. You're going to put him to sleep. No, I know. That's, I think there's, you've got some funny stories. I think there are really... a few funny stories. I'll have to try to remember them, but, you, you know, know, there's... You know, you spend enough time around here, you're going to get a funny story every I mean, now and then. One, one for three, uh, you know, and um, with Dating Game. Dating and Game, right. How was that date, by the way? It, it, I didn't go. <laughs> I didn't go. She was, I didn't like her at all. So I kept making excuses why we couldn't go out. Well, that's and really funny. just went away, and that was the end of that. Because I brought that up because, uh, what was his name, Lang? Uh, the gentleman died yesterday. Oh yeah, uh, Jim Lang, who yeah. was a, who was the host, sweetheart of a guy, really really nice guy. Um, they they taped all those shows, you know, they taped like four shows at a time. So you know, you're in the green room mm -hmm. uh, waiting for your show, and and the Carpenters were on a show. They weren't on on the show that I was on, but they were on a show that was being taped that day. Oh, that's so funny. So Karen and Richard Carpenter were there. There were a couple of other stars. I mean, they had a lot of. I don't know what the hell I was doing there, but right, they had a lot of stars that were contestants on the on the show. So um, if you go to YouTube and you and you search for Steve Martin. Um, uh, dating game, and the, you watch the second part of the clip, you'll see Ed get disappointed that he didn't win there. And I actually showed that to uh, Val. I go, guess who this guy is? He did not figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. It's funny, because I did get an email from a friend of mine going, were you on the dating game? <laughs> what he was doing on that site is beyond me, unless you, you tell him. Anyway, by the way, just in case you're wondering what we're doing here, we are tasting wines for uh, March for the limited series. Not that you could tell from our previous conversation, but here is the so Ancient good. Oak Pinot Noir, which I had never heard of before, and it's absolutely delicious. Now, Depart, it's Russian River like the uh, like the Vintner Series version, but uh, a little older, so it's got a little more finesse to it. Right. But it's, it's also got a little um, a little more char in the barrel, a little bit of smoke in it, and I like that. I really yeah, like the component but, of but it. But it's, it's delicate. It's, it's very not delicate, overdone right? because you can get that char, and you know it's like, hey, I want that char in my steak, not in my glass. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, thirty one ninety nine on the shelf, as most of those Russian River Pinots are, but fifteen ninety nine on the reorder price. And I, this is really killer. I'll you give know, this a 96. It's a 96 to me, too. And the interesting is you get... You know, the Russian River Valley, and I, I'm not a huge fan, like Ed's not, of those wines, Pinot Noir from there, but both of these exhibit that wonderful depth and character. Well, they have a lot of Pinot Noir character, character to yeah. them without being kind of insipid. And, and it's a hard grape to deal with anyway, so. We didn't have any problems. Now, this is, you know, I, I, every time I see this label, and I've been tasting this wine for years, and I finally found a vintage that I really liked, this Tempranillo from Stork's Tower. But doesn't this look like a Bordeaux, like one of the Bordeaux, like oh, Aubriana? Like, it looks like Latour. Aubriana, but Latour, yeah. It looks exactly like Latour. But a Spanish Tempranillo. But it looks, that, that you know, you have to look closely and go, oh, that's a bell tower. You know, I got sued for having a label that looks that's sort of right, like somebody did. else's label. And, <laughs> and you know, they they get so, those French get, they don't have a sense of humor, is what it boils well, down to. Span, you know, now, who knows what happened to these guys. But they've been, this is, of course, this is uh, from Franzia, you know, who's oh. not exactly known for his... Is uh, well, I won't say anything on, on camera, but um, uh, it's been around for a while, so I don't think they're getting in trouble for this. But I think this is just great. It was finally from uh, you know a vintage that I really thought was great. Costello de I Leon, which is uh, north, kind of western Spain, uh, just just uh, just west of, of Rioja and just north of the Ribera del Duero. It's in a really good area. Um, you know about this Tempranillo that I like about it? It's got so much fruit because sometimes they don't have a lot of fruit. This has a ton of fruit. This it's still really young. Yeah. It's still got a lot of life in it. And twenty two ninety nine on the shelf, fourteen ninety nine on the reorder price, and I, I'm I'm giving it a ninety four. Ninety four. Yeah, because I, I I'm a ninety five. I think it's I think it's gonna get better. It will get better because there's enough acid in it. But I love the uh, the depth of it. Wow, it's really good. You keep smelling. So then you want to smell a wine, you want to return to it and smell it. It's not you want to return to it and taste it. Okay, and here it is, boys and girls, our first Chardonnay of the month. Wow, isn't that something? We don't have no, we didn't have no Chardonnays. Ain't, ain't no month. Chardonnays. Yep. Okay, this no! is... No! Chardonnay. No, 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 no. Chardonnay. No! <laughs> Chardonnay. <laughs> Prodigal. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, no, this is, I remember this wine now. Wow, this, this has got almost a pineapple component. Yeah, this has got, it's a little aged, right? It's 2010? Yeah, 2010, I, Santa Maria Valley. 
So this is um, kind of serious Chardonnay. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. All pineapple. Mm. Is yeah. something? I'm going to taste that again. I think it's delicious. Wait, chill that down a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we drink these at room temperature because it, it really will tell you if there's any faults in the wine because chilling the wine down will mask some of the faults and it's not our fault. Okay, a little now, brevity here. To experiment with that, if you really want to experiment, take two bottles of wine, put one in the fridge, red, the red wine. You don't have to chill up that long, half an hour, 45 minutes, and then open that next to a room temperature red wine. Mm -hmm. And you will completely tell why chilling a wine hides its flaws because you can't taste anything in a red wine when it's chilled. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty uh, much. So, anyway. And that's, a, that's your tidbit for today, Ed. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, my pleasure. Twenty four ninety nine on the shelf, twelve ninety nine on the reorder price, and I'm doing a ninety six. Yeah, I, I really this like is it. great. It, must, it doesn't have a whole lot of the, life the left. The only place. problem I have with this wine is you, you, it doesn't really taste like Chardonnay, no. you know. This, but whatever it tastes like, I like it. <laughs> the one why this is no malolactic, but it, has, it sure has the body mm -hmm. of malolactic, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's got the acidity of no malolactic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Every time you taste that, you find something new. Yep. Yes, sir, Bob. Well, everybody thinks. Oh, that yes, sir, Bob. Everybody thinks. I couldn't agree with you more completely. Thank you. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh, yeah, I'm behind you all the way. It is the greatest. Thank you. I know. I'm sure whatever you're thinking is correct. No, well, that makes three of us. <laughs> no, I won't count here. Anyway. I was as I as I tried to talk about wine, Man of War, New Zealand Pinot Gris. Now everybody thinks New Zealand is the quintessential place to grow Sauvignon Blanc, and yes, their Sauvignon Blancs are great and they sell really well. However, my favorite grape in New Zealand is Pinot Gris. It is really absolutely. Good. We have done some, my favorite white wines have, have been Pinot Gris from New Zealand. What's this absolutely district? amazing wines. P Punui, is it Punui North? Panui Island. Is that between oh, the two? Oh, no, no. This place is like, this place isn't even in New Zealand. It's like, it's a separate island. You know, yeah. it's, 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 it's like, um, Who knows? It kind of be... in between this, the, the, the two islands in terms of w where it is in latitude, but it's not even on the mainland of the North or South Island. Mm. I'd never heard of it before. There it is. Okay, how cool is that to own a winery on an island off New Zealand and make wine and get mm. to America and have wine month club features? Is that something else? This has got so much character. Oh, it's God, like it's delicious. Chart. This is absolutely delicious. And what I love about this wine, it has so much flavor. You almost think it's sweet, but it's not mm -hmm. because you get no sweetness in the tip of your tongue, which is where you taste sweetness. And then it finishes, boom, dry. Yeah, you yeah, know, something just boom, eat. dry. It's all terroir, right? Well, I uh, obviously, like yeah, a different terroir than what we're used to, right. because we're used to the, 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 the South Island, which is a little cooler, and then where we get some of the Pinot Gris, like the Torrent Bay we did several yeah, right. years ago. Oh, God, totally that different. wine just was out of this world. I, I, I'll never forget it. I loved it. But this stuff is right up there. It's just mm -hmm. phenomenal. I'm mm -hmm. doing a 97. I don't know why I featured that wine, because it's really good. It's like really, really good. Ooh, 1299. 2011. Reorder? Good. 12.99. What an idiot. It's hilarious. Really, I am an idiot. You heard it here first. I think Actually, it wasn't the first that's time. <laughs> I think you heard it a couple of years ago. Probably 20. You heard it around my house quite a bit. Yeah. That's the limited series for March of 2014. And there you have it.